Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Rambam, Hilchais Yesodi Atayra, Perakei, the fifth chapter, Ois Dalad, the fourth letter. Kol Mishin Nemar by Yavor Yahareg, on anyone that it says, Yavor, you should transgress the prohibition of Yahareg and not get killed, meaning the case. If a guy would come to you and say, turn on the light on Shabbos, otherwise I'm going to kill you. So he said the halacha is that you're obligated to be mechalil, to desecrate the Shabbos and not get killed in order that you should live because the chai behem Hashem would rather have you alive to do more mitzvahs. So if you're in a situation where the halacha is yavor v'ayaharag, you should transgress and not get killed, then the herag, but you decide to be defiant and you say, I will not turn on the light switch on Shabbos and they kill you instead. V'loy avar, you will not transgress. Harizem is chayim benafshay. Such a person is responsible for his life, which means that if, in fact, they end up killing you, so we take you, you are held accountable for the fact that you brought your demise. You could have saved your life by transgressing the Avera, and you did not. And therefore, you are held accountable for what has taken place. The kol mishenem rabbi yaharik v'al yavor. On the flip side, anyone who is in a situation where a goy is telling you to do one of the three cardinal sins, and the obligation is to give up your life and not transgress, the kol mishenem rabbi yaharik that you should get killed v'al yavor and not transgress. And then you ended up allowing yourself to be killed, and you did not transgress one of these three major prohibitions. You have now sanctified HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name. You did what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to give up your life, and you gave up your life, and you showed the Goyim that were trying to kill you, and eventually did kill you, that your life of Kedusha, of purity, of, be, of being true to Hashem is more important than living here in this world and therefore that itself is a Kiddush Hashem. And if there were 10 other Jews standing around while all of this was taking place, you have now sanctified HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name Barabim in public. So you see once again the Rambam is telling us Kiddush Hashem is not how you sanctify HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name amongst the nations of the world. The real Kiddush Hashem is when you sanctify Hashem's name amongst the Yid and amongst the Jews. Kedaniel, Chenanya, Mishav, Azaria, like we have a story in Tanakh, where they were willing, Daniel, Chenanya, Mishav, Azaria, were willing to give up their lives in order not to serve and bow down to Avod Azar and the like, because that's what their obligation was. And it was a great Kiddush Hashem. Rabbi Akiva, who refused to stop teaching Torah, Rabbi Akiva, who was brought out to be slain because that he was, it was a, a Shas Hashmad, it was a time of terrible decrees, and he risked his life for the sake of Torah. And he and his friends, all the ten martyrs that were killed, they did the right thing. It's Kiddushem Shemaim. These are known as the Harugi Malchus, the martyrs that were killed by the kingdom, by the Roman kingdom, and there is no greater Maila, there is no greater lofty level of holiness than you could imagine by them. What they reached for being killed, Api Kiddush Hashem. And upon them it says in the Pasik. Upon you, says the, says the Torah, it says in Tehillim, for your sake we've been slain, we've been killed all day long. We are considered to be like sheep that have gone to the slaughter. Even though they're not, that's what people say, but they're not sheep who have gone to the slaughter. Really, they are the true warriors of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, living his life. Uh, for Kiddush Hashem, they're willing to give up their life, <clears throat> not to bow down to the non-Jewish world and what they were asking of them, and they did it if I see in a public way. That's the greatest Kiddush Hashem that a Jew could make. All the best.